What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Indie Rundown Podcast. We are back with another indie film review. Been getting a lot more of these lately, and I got to say, it's been great. We're here to do a quick review of a dark comedy film by Behold Cinema called Stag, written and directed by Buddy Kane, starring Vinny Susi, Buddy Kane himself, and Ryan Kripak. Synopsis is three best friends make a pilgrimage to Miami before they lose one of their own to marriage. They travel by way of their forefathers. No technology, no phones, just man's intuition and dudes being dudes on the road, which is a nice little hashtag that developed from that film. But um, yeah, first impressions, man. I love this movie. I laughed my ass off. Very well thought out, put together film. Um, it really seemed like Buddy Kane had a distinct vision of what he wanted. And you know, I think he did a good job of making it come together. It kind of reminded me of The Hangover a little bit. Because I, I don't know, man. I love the camaraderie between the guys and, uh, you know, how they talk shit to each other and constantly break each other's balls. And I think that's something we can all relate to very well, especially me, you know, with all my group groups of friends over the years and stuff like that. But, yeah, this trio had a really good amount of chemistry, man. And I think it showed on screen. With that being said, check out this little clip of said camaraderie. Phil, how's it going? You're late. Good to see you, too. Bring me anything back from the Big Apple? Actually, yeah. Uh, hold on, let me see here. Is he middle finger? Yeah. Oh, it's he's, just uh, he's, it's in here somewhere. He's doing it again. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh! There it is. Yeah. Wow. He got us again. There it is. Ah! <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You got it. So yeah, no. Um, other things I liked about this movie was, you know, the cinematography was great, camera work was great, editing was good, the shots looked like they were very well thought out and very well meticulously crafted. I think it made for a really smooth playback, um, at least when I watched it. I also like the inclusion of a road trip montage, man. That was pretty cool how they did that. You don't really see that in short films. I think it helped progress the story and show a passage of time without bogging it down, man. I just, I loved the setup, dude. Typical road trip type stuff. It's good pacing too, but um, I, I loved it, man. I thought it was great. I laughed my ass off, dude. There were some really funny parts that I think we'll highlight. But, um, yeah, enough about me. Let me toss it over here to my buddy Mike. What do you think about it, bro? Well, two things. One, uh, buddy, if you're listening, he's lying to you. I saw it first. I raved about it first. And then I passed it over to Zach. And then he watched it. So, uh, thank, when did I say I saw it first? Thank, thank me first. Thank me. That that. Don't interrupt me. I I, I let you speak. Number two. It's <laughs> you bastard. It's not behold cinema. It's it's behold cinema. Behold it's cinema. Motto, man. So actually, it's a, it's a totally different because is is this a behold a hole where all these freaking bees are? I don't think so. Behold that cinema. That Cali pronunciation yeah. coming out of me. Behold cinema. It's autocorrect apparently, but whatever. <laughs> so now that we got those out of the way. Uh, two yes, th- by all means, go ahead. Another, actually, I got another third thing. You don't like to get your balls broken that much, bro. I got, I got. Sometimes, eh, I don't know. I don't hey, know it's been this. a while, man. Just, just go <laughs> ahead. Get it out of your system. Just get it out of your system, man. I was saying, so you, you don't like to get your balls broken all the time. So, uh, another disclaimer, because I don't want if you end up running into buddy, starts breaking your balls, and then uh, things get a little too, uh, too heated. But uh, again, Buddy Kane, the, the, uh, he is. It is a certain degree of separation. I don't want to, you know, miss miss misspeak here, but he was. You may you may have recognized him, you know, because he was covered in, in in the mask and the drapes as the killer in <laughs> Chloe Carroll slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, badass short film. Apparently, in Pennsylvania, they make badass short films, man. Because uh, uh, I'm not sure if he's from uh, Pennsylvania or not, buddy. But uh, in the in the film, they allude to. You know, one of their friends, uh, and if if the, that that came over from the city, the guy who flicks up flicks them off, right? Uh, so it's definitely East Coast group. Uh, three guys, uh, three actors, uh, uh, Vinny, Buddy, and, and and Ryan. They clearly have a camaraderie, and it and it comes and it shows, and it's that's what makes it funny. Uh, the friendship is fun. It's it's just a funny movie, man. It's yeah, so- and it seems like real life stuff that you would say with your buds. It's just it's natural. And just, and just the whole like this is something that you know I, I, in my mid twenties I'd be stupid enough to do. Like, yeah. what is the point of you know no, no technology, etc. Like, it's yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, you're looking at the GPS. I generally just want to know 
because I don't want it to be on all the time. I don't want it to be interrupting like a fucking podcast and listen to it or whatever. But I w- I'll just get the general highway, the exit, the cross streets first. And then when I'm close to the place, then I'll pull it up to really get it down. But right. uh, these guys eventually get lost. Uh, <laughs> just trying to trying to read a map and stuff like that. And then it actually reminded me of a, a, a horror movie called Dead End. And it's funny because in Dead End, these guys essentially – it's a family road trip and they're going around in circles and circles to keep they they they're just stuck in a loop. And these guys the 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 it's definitely a ho- comedy horror because it, it even though it changes tone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like they get directions from this freaking weirdo guy who's like <laughs> it's all the like in like ridiculously dark towards them like you yeah. remind of Ralph from Friday the 13th like you guys are well, I don't know what the hell like he was he was a nutcase and then it, it, the film really gets fucking weird at seven the, the seven minute and 30 second mark very when they come <laughs> it's like how can you say it without laughing man they come across deer in the row but the deer aren't really deer they're guys dressed as deer and like they have makeup on as deer like deer makeup <laughs> and it's like they the the three friends are acting like they're really seeing deer, but they're not. And I was like, man, at first I was like, what the fuck is this? And then I was like, oh, okay, I, I was so, <laughs> I was just along for the ride. I was like, okay, man, yeah. And then you know, the the guy from New York, they pump him up, and that was funny. And then he gets out, and then all of a sudden, you know, he gets freaking pulverized with the <laughs> with the with the antlers or whatever. Spoiler alert, too. This is on YouTube. We're going to be sharing it anyway, but. Uh, yeah all this stuff and then and then at the end it ends up that it's a prank but their friend's still dead and there's yeah. it's just cuts and it's just like <laughs> it was funny it was funny it was it was entertaining and those are the two the two cardinal sins that a lot of people for some reason just throw on the wayside like uh, that's the one thing i like about buddy is that he he kept it entertaining he kept it funny and that's really the sign of a good filmmaker. That's what you want to do. If you, if you, if you're not entertained, what the hell are we doing here? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I, I so, love how they had to verify that while he said, uh, he, he's, he's good, right? He walks over there. He's like, no, he's dead. He, he's very, <laughs> it's fucking great, man. It's good. Now I, I enjoyed it. It was funny. I mean, this is a, yeah. this yeah. was, this was the funniest, this was the funniest short film, uh, I, that I've seen in a while. Probably, probably one of the funny. Like I was cracking up, laughing out loud, uh, mm. in some spots. So I, I say, uh, it's one of the funny. It's the funniest short film we reviewed. That's for sure. Yeah, I, and it's very hard to do to get an indie film like this to make me laugh as much as it did. Yeah, man. So uh, kudos, and uh, he apparently is gonna make some more down the road. So it says keep me po- said keep posted on. Uh, I commented on the. Uh, on his, uh, let me see, let me verify this. Yeah, I said, I said, LOL, this is funny. Good job. He said, thank you so much for the view. Lots more content to come. So check it out again. His buddy, the cane on YouTube. You definitely want to check it out. And, uh, this short film deserves more views than it got. So 712 fi- views. We need to, we need to pump the shit up more. Yeah. Yeah. Please get it to four digits. Uh, no, man, I think it's great. I think buddy Kane's very talented. I'm really excited to see what else he has down the pipeline, man. Funny, funny, funny. Yep. Go watch it, people. So, if you got anything else, man, is that it? Yeah, that's it, man. Awesome. Well, hey, we're going to bounce out of here, man. Don't forget to follow us everywhere on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at The Indie Rundown. We'll see you next time. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram, at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.